Well, hello, Sagittarius. It is all about you. <laughs> Welcome to your horoscope. I'm so glad you're here. And, um, you know, happy birthday if you're having a birthday this week. Here's what's going on. You know, you got Jupiter in your first house. And so this is motivating more faith. This is motivating more risk taking on a lower level, being kind of a gambler. On the higher level, just pure generosity from the heart. And you can never outgive God. You can never outgive the goddess. It's all going to come back to you. So have that kind of compassion, you know. Yes, be like the mother cow who gives her milk up to others, you know, freely so that they can get some good nutrients in their life. Um, it's it's about acting in faith. And as, you know, the week goes, Mercury's going to come back in there and there'll be like epiphany. It's like, aha, okay. You know, you're going to be coming back on track with things you were working on in early November. So all of that is going to start coming together for you. Um, let's see. Other things to consider is... Um, I'd say just be cautious with finances and, and, you know, little investments are best at this time. Um, your home life is sort of unstable right now and th you find stability in meditation. I really say have a practice. Even if your life is up in the air, have a practice. Just first thing in the morning when you get up have a practice give it up to god if and if you can't do that at least at night before you go to bed maybe should, maybe at night before you go to bed might even be more important you know to prepare for the new day and to review what happened what you'd like to change all of that that's going to be powerful that's going to work for you um pleasures of the bed they might be more real with venus in the 12th house but also people that may not be as honest you know um We've done a lot of things in society to um, disempower women to where deception becomes a more normal thing for them to be able to get what they want because they won't get it what they want directly, you know, in the, in the DNA. And that's, that's not cool, you know. <laughs> we need to make a world where everyone feels confident and free to be themselves and get what they want and be respected for what they don't want. I hear a lot about what they don't want these days, you know? It's like, gosh, I just want to hear about what they really do want. I don't care about what they don't want. I don't want to give anybody what they don't want. 